Hey guys, I'm Azia, and welcome back to another episode. Uh, last episode, we looked at, looked at the uh, blast furnace and creating the HSL steel ingots, which are, you know, the main resource in, in rotary craft. And today we're going to be building is, uh, we're going to be making ethanol, uh, which is later on used as a fuel source for um, certain engines and various other stuff. Um, but before we do that, we're going to make a work table and a couple of tools that are used inside of rotary craft. So the first thing is the work table, uh, which is essentially what we use to make uh, the majority of uh, rotocraft machines. It's uh, two HSL steel ingots, uh, a brick or bricks, always confuses me how it's one item, but it's plural, or a crafting table, two stone slabs and a, and a piece of redstone. And so you're gonna be essentially using this uh, work table here to make uh, the machines in rotocraft. Uh, before we get onto that, we're going to make a um, a screwdriver, which is a, essentially, it's like a wrench um, in the rotocraft area, so it lets you rotate items, and it also lets you uh, configure some items as well, um, and I'll show you how to do that later on. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to make is a angular transducer, um, which is essentially just a, a, a tool to give you information on certain items so if you've got a mod like whaler you can get a lot of the information as you can see uh this one's temperature is 627 degrees celsius if you haven't got whaler the angular transducer will give you um information you want and mind you whaler doesn't always give you everything you want so um it's always handy for troubleshooting okay so first thing we want to make is not that chest first thing we want to make is a uh, a couple of DC engines so they're going to be the basic power source and so you need some ba two base plates I'm going to be making two sets so uh, two base plates and four HL steel units a shaft unit and some redstone and you have to make it inside the work table two redstone in the center uh, on the right hand side is the shaft unit uh, two base panels at the bottom and the HSL steel ingots in the left, the last over spots. And you grab the engines out. Okay. These engines produce, if you press shift, you can see uh, <clears throat> one kilowatt of power and four newton meters uh, of torque at 256 rads a second. So it's probably the basic power you're gonna need um, for a short time. Uh, the next thing we're gonna need to make is a fermenter. This is essentially what uh, goes into making yeast and ethanol crystals which then later on will get formed into ethanol so we're just going to grab uh, four tin four base panels and a impeller um, you don't need to use uh, tin you can use impel um, hsl steel ingots instead but i've decided to use tin because uh, i've got a lot of tin and i don't want to go through my hsl steel ingots so i've got the fermenter now and now we're going to need to make a, you know what I totally forgot to do? Um, we're going to need to make a pump as well because the fermenter needs water. Uh, I think it's in the farming area. No, wait on. Let's quickly go through them. Uh, I'm looking for the pump. Pump, no. Uh, there we go, pump. Impeller. Liquid pipe, we're going to make that next. So it's not too hard. Okay, so we're going to make some liquid pipes. Okay, I've already got the stuff liquid pipe. So you need some glass and some HSL steel ingots. I'm gonna need that shaft unit. I mean the gears, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need base panels. Okay, so let's make those liquid pipes first. Glass down the center. Steel ingots on either side. And you get liquid pipes. Okay, and we'll go to the crafting table just for making the small parts of Rotocraft. That's a steel gear, um, which is usually made like this. Oops. And you get gears, but uh, we've got one, so. Uh, and to make a propeller out of it, just like that. And what was it? Uh, this, this, this. Uh, we need to make some more base panels. Like that, and you know, I totally forgot the rest of it. 
Plus, plus, plus. Oh no. Decision. Ah, two still even that's it. Okay. Grab all that, gotta put in the work tail because it is a machine. Put on the center. Pipe, pipe. Base, base. Ing it, ing it. Did I get that wrong? How did I? That's, that should be right. Check any eye on that. Uh, oh, missed that. Didn't see it in the in the book. Um, must be a uh, uh, a texture glitch thingy. Oh, I got oh, five. I need to pick up one piece of sand. Waste a bit of coal there. Do -do -do -do. Oh, in the last episode, I was mentioning about the temperatures, or well, the ambient temperature of biomes and the temperatures required by certain machines. And I mentioned that you could uh, be in a different biome and it would get colder or hotter depending on the biome. Uh, what I did forget to mention was that um, it also gets hotter the closer you get to the earth or to Y level zero. So um, up high, it can get quite cold because it's windy and so forth. Down below, it's a... Uh, closer to the Earth's crust, and therefore is hotter. Uh, there are also another couple of ways of cooling things down, which I'll go through today as well. Uh, did, okay, whoops. Gotta bank that base panel, I mean not base panels, the uh, glass panels. And there we go. Now we've got our pump. Is anything else I gotta make? No, we've got the pump, the engines, the fermenter. Uh, have I got... I've got sugar cane, which is what I'm going to need for over here. Let's grab some sugar cane, because you're going to need some sugar for this. I'm going to need some dirt as well. And that should be all we need. Now we need to go set up... Actually, I'm just going to grab some cobblestone. Might need that. Uh, cobblestone, cobblestone. Don't use that cobblestone. Uh, this. Blast pot. Yeah, no. Just use compressed. Okay, that should be enough cobblestone for use. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to use a pump uh, to suck out of an uh, infinite water source. Um, as always, uh, when you place stand items, the output is facing towards you. So we want to output the engine towards this. We can get the pump out and just place it like that. It has a uh, green squares that pop up, which implies the inputs the power input so you can put it in from other side and for to get us to turn this engine on it's merely applying a redstone uh, signal so it's sucking away pump there and we check the see uh, the angular transducer tells us where it's getting its power as well which is what uh, Wayler does not tell you so okay and with the Screwdriver, you can change the direction of stuff with right clicking. Okay, so once we've got that, we want to get the liquid pipes and it will output liquid on the side. Let's go like that. Do I want to put it there? Put it there. And then have it just pumped into the back of the fermenter. As you can see, the fermenter's got a water section. Also has a temperature guide. I believe anywhere between. 15 degrees I think maybe um, and about 40 degrees so you want it somewhere about 20 30 degrees um, essentially in this green area for it to work optimal uh, it will work a little bit over it if it gets too hot it won't work at all or too cold it won't work at all okay so now that we've got water going to it do I hear footsteps yeah I get freaked out because there's some uh, there's some blocks below this platform where things get spawned and they freak me out, so, okay. So to get this thing to start working, you'll see it's got a target at the side hand. Oh, it does need power as well. That's why we've got the other DC engine, my bad. So we're just going to put power on this side. As you can see, oh, my bad. It requires power from the other side. Okay. Uh, can I rotate that? Yes, I can. I want to rotate this side. Oh. There we go. So it's 
So it's got a hole in the back for its power goes into. We've got the crank. Okay, now it's got power. Its target is uh, yeast. Okay, so to make yeast, you're gonna need some dirt and some sugar. Okay, so sugar goes in the top one, I believe, and dirt goes in the bottom. You should start going along to making yeast. Um, it doesn't always use the dirt. Okay, get some yeast. As you can see, it's getting a little bit too hot there. We've gone into the yellow, which is 38. If we just put a uh, something above it to block the sunlight, it should get a little bit colder. Oh, it's not even daytime, so it's not, that's not going to work. Uh, we need to make it a little bit cooler. I've got the bucket. Get a bucket. So you can cool stuff down by placing ice or water next to them as well. It goes the opposite direction by, you know, if you want to heat it up, place fire, lava. Let's just grab some water. Uh, okay. That, 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 that. And water there. As you can see now that the temperature is dropping down. Down to 33, so it should keep it in a more optimum temperature. Got the stone. Okay, so now that we've got the yeast, we can take the yeast out. Now to make, um, what is it, ethanol crystals, I believe. Um, oh, no, not ethanol. Uh, the next step is making sludge, which you then turn on to ethanol crystals. Um, you're going to need yeast, as we've just made before, and you're going to need some kind of plant, ma um, plant matter. So that means uh, you can either shear leaves, which will... Um, Actually, you can either shear leaves, or you can use stuff like um, saplings. We're going to use saplings for the time being. <coughs> Some plant matter, such as uh, sheared leaves, it essentially doubles your output. So if you can shear the leaves instead of just using the saplings, um, you'll get more out of it. So should be the yeast at the bottom, and saplings at the top. Or oh, I got that wrong. Got that wrong. Yeah, I've got that wrong. So yeast at the top. Saplings at the bottom and makes a uh, sludge. As you notice, it doesn't always use up this. It doesn't always use the yeast either. So we've got 14 sludge now. What we do with the sludge is you go and cook the sludge and it turns into ethanol crystals. So that's essentially how you make uh, ethanol crystals. Uh, while that's cooking, we'll go look at the fermenter again. Now, as you can see here, it's got the target over there. Um, if you want, have I got wood? I need need a little bit of wood just for a, a, a stick. A stick, I haven't got a stick. If you can make a, uh, a lever. Okay, lever, stick. I mean a lever, not a lever, a lever. You make a lever and you place it on the machine on any side by applying a redstone signal to it it changes the target to um, sludge now what this does is if you've got some kind of automatic process for uh, automatically inputting items into the fermenter um, having it on the right target will allow the the items to be placed in the correct location so if you're trying to make sludge and you're trying to put plant matter in, plant matter might get put into here if you haven't got set to sludge. So um, if you're making sludge, um, change it, apply a red sand signal to it uh, so it does go to sludge so you can automate the process. And if you don't want it to, to automate to sludge, go to yeast. Okay. okay. What time is it? It's not... Is it? It's almost daytime. I can't see the sun. Yeah. Oh, I think that's about it for today. Um, I believe on the next episode we're actually going to be making the. Uh, where is it? Book. Should be making a. We're going to make a gasoline engine, which is uh, the engine that runs off ethanol. We're also going to be making a grinder, which uh, will help us uh, make another. 
um, used item, which is a lubricant, uh, which goes into your gears. Uh, we'll also be um, grinding some of our ores into three, so it's be uh, ore processing times three as well, uh, as well as playing uh, making lubricant with the grinder and the gasoline engine. So uh, if you liked the video, hit the like up, that really helps. Um, if you haven't subbed, what are you waiting for? Do it now. <laughs> and if you've got any questions, uh, let me down below. Um, this is the 1.7.10 version of Rotary Craft. It is in the uh, Bevo Tech Pack. So if you've got any questions on that, let me know. If you've got any questions in regards to the 1.6.4 version of Rotary Craft, let me know as well because I'll be glad to help there too. And until next time, guys. Ready, aim, fire.